Uh, hello everyone and welcome back to another adventure of Paper Mario. I forgot that when I last left off I was gonna deal with Bowser. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm back with more Paper Mario. Thank you to all the dedicated people who watch Paper Mario. You have somehow made uh, Paper Mario uh, one of my highest earning videos, which is insane when you consider that. It's insane, so thank you, and thanks for watching. So let's get into it. Wah, hello, how are you feeling, princess? Nothing makes me happier than a smile from you, Peach. Well, tough luck. I'm in a very bad mood, you monster. You've imprisoned all the guests from the castle. You are the single greatest disaster to ever befall the Mushroom Kingdom, and that includes the wars we've had. you right up there. I'll tell you what, I'll smile when you make everything as it was before you showed up. <laughs> That's rich. You know I can't do that. That jerk Mario just beat the Koopa Brothers and Toot and Koopa. Sure, they were complete wimps, but they were totally loyal to me. I can't forgive Mario for disrespecting me. I'm nipping this in the bud right now. I'm going to use the invisible Tuba Blooba. He's the strongest creature I know. After me. You'd best forget about Mario. Your nastiness. We have a problem. Why, Kami Koopa, what's what you so riled up? You look upset. <laughs> what? The star spirit flew away from Tuba Blueba's castle. King Bowser, keep keep your voice down. The Princess Peach will hear you. Hmm. Yes, yeah, right. Tell me the details over there. Walk, walk, walk. I like <laughs> Bowser's little walk cycle. It's pretty good. Twink, did you hear that? Yes, I sure did. Star Spirit must have escaped. Did you hear him call that tuba blooba thing invincible? That doesn't sound good. Do you think Mario can win? We better try to find out about tuba blooba. If we could find something, anything about a weak point, it might just save Mario. Good idea! Then, there's no time to lose. We won't get anything done if we stay in this room. Let's rock. Doom, 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 boom, boom. It's right here. Press. Walk. Oh god. Press. I think Bowser would think that he has. The no, it's not Bowser's castle. It's Peach's castle. Never mind. There's still cars outside. Be careful not to get caught. Oh, this is a stealth mission. Bum bum banana. Bum bum bum. I remember this level as a kid being very annoying. But I also think you can find. There are guards here too. Probably lots of them. We better be extra careful. Ah! Shit. Can't see you over these books. Mm. Shit. Stealth, 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 stealth. Yeah, power rush. Stealth, 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 stealth. Hey, have you heard about Master Tuba Blooba? I heard rumors that he loves eating ghosts. Uh, ghost, huh? Master Tuba Blooba, he lives deep inside the Forever Forest, doesn't he? I think he's guarding one of the star spirits right now. Yeah, Master Tuba Blooba lives in the... in the castle at the top of Ghostly Gulch. I heard that somewhere near his castle is a mansion in a village full of ghosts. I guess Master Tuba Blue will sometimes goes there to catch booze. 
And then when he catches one, he gobbles it down, starting with its head. Chomp. Ugh, man, that's so scary. Now I won't be able to walk in the bathroom alone at night. I'm gonna have nightmares, I know it. Why'd you tell me? I also heard that Master Tuba Luba is invincible. They say he can't be hurt. Nobody can even scratch him. He might even be as stronger than King Bowser. Stronger than King Bowser? Come on, that's impossible. Even Master Tuba Luba has to have some weak points. It's just common sense. Yeah... You may be right. There's another rumor that Tuba Blue has got a secret that would ruin him if he ever got out. He's got old tweets where he said very unfortunate things about the Mexicans. Or as they like to be called now. It that's also complicated, I'm not gonna get into it. I bet it's her I bet it's about his past. I heard he didn't used to be strong at all. Shh. What if Tuba Blueba hears you? He might gobble us up. Still, what do you think his secret could be anyway? Oh no. No one knows. That's why it's a secret, you half wit. Twink, it sounds like Tuba Blueba has a weak point after all. If only we could find out. Uh, did you did you hear someone talking just now? <gasps> Do you think someone knows we're goofing off in here? Oh, whoa, how'd you get here? I'm sorry to do this, but you have to go back to your room right now. Caught us talking. Oh, no! Sad twink. Whee! Back with Mario. Thank you, Mario. At last, I can head home to Star Haven. My name is Mamar. So nice to meet you in person. You've still got a long way to go, but I just know you can save Princess Peach. I'll do my best to help you. Here's a present for you. Mario's star energy goes up to two. Mario can now use a lullaby, which he's never going to use. Call on me when times are bad. I believe in this, Mario. My powers are strong. I'm a star spirit, after all. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Our powers are growing all the time. Keep up the good work, Mario. You must save the other star spirits as soon as possible. Okay, bye. For now, I'm going back to the recover in Star Haven. Who knows how my dear old Star Haven is faring without the star rod. Goodbye, Mario. I'm off. Whoosh. That was fucked up. Wonder what, uh... What Bombardier has to say about the ruins. These dry, dry ruins, weren't you totally blown away when it rose out of the sand? That was awesome. I wish we could make it happen again. Alright, how the fuck did we get out of here, man? No idea. I also need coops. Or Bombette, whichever one. Alright, good. Alright, Coops. Power shell him. Nice. Fortunately, not all of them. He's gonna throw something at me. Damn it. There we go. All right, this is easy to clean up from here. John, get out of my face. Bing. Oh shit. All right, let's uh, keep on making our way downtown. Shit! That's one. We I forgot we can go faster this way. I'm pretty positive I have to actually go back 
to go to the way I was. She had to go f backwards to go forwards. Best you stick with me. Oh god. Oh shit. There it is. Pretty sure we might be able to find the professor here too and tell him hey. Let me see what uh things do we got for Perigary. Oh I'm gonna go up on bed for now. Let's see, I need to give him to Merlon and Toad Town and Goom Papa and Goom Village. I can do that. Well, what ill luck, no clues about the ruins. I'm getting so frustrated. I just might have to give up the excavation for now. How very sad. My voice has changed, Mario, since the last time we talked. I say, Mario, that artifact you hold in your hand, it looks like it looks quite important. Do my eyes deceive me, or is that a clue to the dry, dry ruins? Mario, old chum, I beg of you, would you possibly part with it? I forgot that I was actually English. Cheers, Mario. Smashing, really, old boy. Soon now, the mysterious dry dry ruins will rise from the sands and conceal them. As a brilliant archaeologist, I say it must be so. I suppose a thank you gift is in order, eh, old boy? Here you go, then. Here's a shit star piece. You know what? A bit of the magic... <laughs> I'm being too mean to the star piece. Cherish the memory, old boy. By the way, it's already up. You can totally just go there. I'm gonna save because I'm pretty positive there might be a fight coming up with everyone's favorite. Just in case. Let's get the going. Banana. Mario's my name. Hey there, hold up a sec, partner. Just darn minute, I've seen you somewhere. Now, let me tell you, it's me. I'm giving him the voice of King Edamon. Uh, or Bobo Bo, as he's really known. Well, I guess most people would know him as Bobo Bo, but he was also King Edamon. Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario who's on Mario's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name? I'm Mario. Mario will I be. If you're Mario, I reckon I gotta bust you up. I'm gonna bust up them did you just in. I'll tell you right now. Oh. Uh -huh. This is ba this is Bowser. He guards Mount Rugged. Wow, that's one big ass bird. HP 40, attack power 30, defense power 0. If you get caught in the clutch of this sharp claw, you'll lose 4 HP, trying to wriggle out of this grip. His special attack is flapping his wings to create wind and attack damage to party members, too. But he has hatched eggs, hasn't he? Is it possible that he's really a she? I wonder. Ah, you know, Mario, in these trying times, it's, it's so hard. I just want to be right, Mario. I just want to treat the people right. Yeah, no, I, I, I get you. I get you. It's tough. I'm I'm doing my best too. Oh god. Oh shit, he's got my boy. That's not good. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get this right. Oh, the answer is no, I did not. Oh, thank god for the good luck. Okay, good. Thank God. Okay, I'm gonna try that again. Go, 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 go. Oh, man. I was trying to keep my rhythm and I screwed it up. I'll remember for this time. All right, I got him. All right, let's go. Power bounce. One. One. 
shit. Okay. Power bots, ready? One, two, three, four, fuck. I'm just trying to keep it in rhythm. I gotta get better at that. As a kid, I used to be able to do a buttload of damage. But I ain't got a kid anymore. Oh man. Oh man's a man. Refresh. Remember that part where I said there was no chance in hell we were ever going to? Well, I didn't say no chance in hell, I just said there was no chance. Thank you. Okay. I should really switch to Paracarry. Oh, thank god. Just barely on that one. I can actually potentially do this. Plus two. I should really switch the Paracarry next turn. Well, not next turn, but pretty close to next turn. Wap! Yeah, actually, if I switch to Paracarry, I should be able to take him out with the Shell Shot. Alright, Paracarry. Yeah, airlift him real quick. Boom! Ah, really? You live that? Okay, fine. Whatever. Do what you like. Die. Ooh, do we get more? I would love that if it was double. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Luck is turning out good for me. Let me see, which one of these would I want? I actually want more BP. Yeah, I got whooped. Yo, yowza. Shiza. It's damn digital distance. Now I'm never going to be able to stop thinking about Metal uh, Edamon from Digimon. That might be nice. And Power Jump. We are done here. Let's move on, shall we, Paracarry? Shit! Bing, bing, bing. Shoot. If I had Quake Hammer, this would take it down immediately. I could just, just bomb it, but. Bomb bed it and forget it. Boom. Yeah, when you don't fully kill him, it's kind of a... It's kind of lame. I'm gonna use a refresh. May as well, just because it's five. And it's better to have one in the chamber than two forever. Alright, take him out, my dude. Nice, nice, nice. And they all go down. Oh, look at them go. You son of a bitch. Just for that, I am going to blow you up with a bomb. Yeah, screw it. I don't care that it costs six. I'm a man on the edge. Very nice. Good job, Umbet. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. that's the good shit right there. Totally on purpose too. <laughs> to be honest, I had no idea that you could even jump on those rocks. I don't think I ever tried. Yeah. 
Jesus, six damage. There's actually no reason not to use the hammer. Because it's stronger than my feats at the moment. Get some dual tasty tasty three coins. Thank you. I should have ridden the, the slide down. I forgot if this was after I already got in my- I did not! Yeah, look at Bombette running. Happiness. I'll go with Goombario, because I do use him a whole bunch. Yes, please. Oh yeah, I have attained the power of Infobonk. I am now a Super Saiyan. I am a Goomba who has ascended beyond what is necessary. Makes me the most powerful. The most strongest. Toad. No. Goomba. Why did I say Toad? It's almost as if the person voicing me did not remember what I f was. There we go. To the station. <laughs> Chuck -a -chuck -a -chuck -a -chuck -a -chuck -chuck there goes JC Jr. going down the track is going from a back. Shout out to people who know Dumbo references. It's the train that um carries Dumbo in the all the circus is called Casey Jr. Casey Jr.'s going down the track. Don't remember the rest of the song, I just remember the beginning part. Really, I should stop singing it, otherwise Disney's gonna DMCA me. Taking the Casey Jr. song from the... Uh, from the movie that they themselves removed songs from. Because apparently Rustabout is, uh... Very problematic for various reasons. Toad Town, Toad Town, you're in Toad Town. Next stop, Pound Town. Hmm, think about that for a bit, Mario. I would rather not. Oh, there's the, the, the man spreading a seed. Let's go forward. Oh, I should... Yeah, yeah, let me go in here. What's wrong? I would like you to use... Hmm... Uh... He used this lime, which is the same thing as a lemon. Lime and lemon, two of the same thing. Well, it's just a tasty tonic. Please, take this honey and make something. What can you possibly make with just raw honey? Oh, super soda. That makes sense. <laughs> they are both, I guess, liquid you just drink. Oh, hi, Mario. You know, I used to want to be a train conductor when I grow up, but I decided not to because I didn't want to be a hero just like you instead. I'm going to beat up the bad guys when I'm going to save Princess Peach. Is it hard to do? How is your 401k? It's very important for me to know. Water and dirt, sunshine powers, beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my min is Minty. Please enjoy the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bulbs have only known seeds. This is what a bulb looks like. If you find a bulb, could you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. Here's the seed, woman. Oh, you give me your seed? Thank you, I really appreciate it. Plant it right away. Yes, I know that's not what she said, technically. But it's close enough. If you plant all four of the different colored bubbles, a miracle will occur. I wonder what will happen. I can hardly wait for that day to come. Speaking of coming, give me your seed, please. Here we go. Enjoy it. 
I have no use for it, that's for sure. Even if it wasn't some kind of sex joke that I was making, what what actually could I possibly need a seed for? Is this where Merlot is? Are you the right one? You're Merlon, correct? My name's Paracary, I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you, hang on a moment. Here's a big ass letter. Another letter duly delivered, the postman's job is never done. Who's it from? Hmm. Oh, my granddaughter, Merle. She's usually entered the family business. Mm. Is that so? Well, I see. Interesting. She opened up her business in the dry drought outpost deep in the desert. It's located somewhere quite off the main drag. She seems to be keeping busy. That's good to hear. Thanks so much for bringing this letter. I'll give you this. Star piece. Keep it in the family, huh? Because his other family members give me stuff for star pieces. Oh yes, Mario. Yes, hello. Well, seems that you have received some mail. Which I would you like to read? Let's read some Cooper letters. Colorado's wife. Here you go. Cooper, how are you doing? Your mother dropped by for a visit the other day. We had a really nice talk over some Koopa tea. She did some touch. She did seem a touch disappointed that you were still on the road. She said that she's going to cook a delicious dinner when you come back, so you have something to look forward to. Oh yes, if you have to be on the, to see my wayward husband, please tell him to come home more often. Take care, Colorado's wife. Yes, please. Bombette. Here you go. Dear Miss Bombette, We write this letter as a humble request to you and the most worthy and explosive of all bob bombs. Still a long time off, but later this year we will be staging an opening event for the new Dry Dry Railroad route. We feel the event would be a gala bash if we could enlist your bomb-bursting help. Crowds love fireworks. Anyway, we'll get you in touch when after your adventures end and confirm the dates. Sincerely, Dry Dry Railroad Transportation Department. Now I'm good. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Before we end the episode, I think it's only right that we also go visit Luigi. See what he's been up to. Maybe go read his diary. Oh, he's talking about the ghosts. We should also remember to talk to the Toads in Town and see what they have to say about the ghosts, but we'll do that next episode. BG. Huh. I actually can't go down right now. Ooh, I got letters. Dear Mario, how do you do? I'm Little T, I'm just a little toad. I live in Toad Town, I've been training at the dojo so I can save Princess Peach. I'll write to you again later, okay, bye. Cooper Brothers. Ha, <laughs> you rat Mario, how dare you embarrass us? I'll never forget what you did, Red. Ha, <laughs> watch your back when you walk at night, Black. I'm gonna make you cry, Green. You better sleep one eye open, pal, Yellow. We shall return, the Koopa Brothers. Koopa Troopers. Dear Mario, Thank you so much for taking care of your fuzzy problem. We, the Koopa Troopers in the village, really appreciate what you've done for us. We must apologize for not warding you with anything, but we are but simple Koopas. Please drop by the village whenever you like anytime. It'll be our honor. Best of luck from all of us. Sincerely, Koopa Troopers of the Koopa Village. That's nice. Yeah, so Luigi's down there fucking jamming out. We can we actually can't visit him for now. No mail for me? Okay. So we'll save up and then we'll talk to the toad in town and then make our way off to Spook Town. Spooky Town. Ooh, the dojo's open. Maybe we'll also go into the dojo. There's a lot of stuff we can do in the town. So join me next time as we continue more uh, Paper Mario. I promise to do more in December. Now that things have kind of calmed down for me. <laughs> Till next time, everyone. Thanks for watching. See you later. Goodbye.